Welcome. So today we're going to pick back up on our walkthrough with the uh, area here at the sanctuary or uh, vestige of Chibui. Uh, vestige. Uh, we're going to take on Scourge Sister Deleth. So I'm going to go ahead and head on up this ladder. I'll talk about a few things uh, in this area here. Scourge Sister Deleth is... Uh, mini boss I guess not a full on boss um, what you want to do beat all this stuff where you go uh, you can use your lamp to just cross over into here you can pick up the condemned set um, and uh, you can go ahead and start the bucket lord quest if you want uh the good thing about the bucket lord quest is he will help you uh with scourge sister deleth uh, and you know several others but you don't have to start you know with it right now uh you can start that quest whenever you want to uh if you defeat the bosses that are required for that quest uh, they will just leave the bucket lord uh remembrance things I forget what they call them, but I have a whole video on the tips and tricks thing playlist talking about that. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of nice to have them along. So there's Scourge Sister Deleth right there. Uh, I'm going to run over here. Use our lantern to go through here. Go ahead and pick this up off this guy. Head on back. You can run through here. There is a item, so go ahead and go umbral. Use your lantern to grab this thing. I forget what it is. Yeah, umbral vertebrae. Never use them, but hey, you know. Couldn't see him. Get him away, buddy. Yeah, we could have dropped down and uh, just gotten out of Umbral if we wanted, but I mean, we're. Cleric's welcome comes behind the edge of a sentinel's blade. More often than not in this place. So this is Damaros? Makes me curious how you're still breathing. I suppose dangling the promise of salvation from one hand and the threat of death from the other keeps a pilgrim obedient. <laughs> ah, on second look, you're not just another deluded lamb, are you? You know, not long ago, I saw a dark crusader carrying that same lamp. Now it's in your hands. Again, curious. I know they'd see you rejuvenate those obscene monuments preventing a deer's return. Don't. That's a threat. But also advice. A dear rewards the faithful. <laughs> There's salvation here if you want it. But you won't find it in the light of the sun or that lamp. There's okay, so we've exhausted her dialogue. Uh, she's important to, like, the Inferno ending. Um, but she's also, you know, this is her, you know, where uh, Dunmire told you cleanse the beacons. This is her telling you don't cleanse the beacons. Alright. So anyway, so we want to continue on back this way. Drop on down. Grab this. Bleed resistance bomb. You can use it if you want to. Alright, go ahead and rest. The reason why you want to rest is just because, you know, you're in Umbral. So, I mean, if you die in Umbral, you're dead. You know, whereas if you die in Axiom... You come back in Umbral, so I mean, you get a second shot at the boss, so. Uh, 
So we'll go ahead and head on back up. If you do try to cleanse the beacons, you're going to make Damaros mad. So just know that she's going to try and kill you at that point. So, uh, I mean, she won't try and do it like immediately, but, you know, she will, uh, you know, later in the game, she's going to fight you. So. so anyway, just be aware of that. All right. So anyway, we're just going to run back over here. Climb on down. All right. So go ahead and kill this guy real quick. And it's important to note that Scourge Sister to Leth, um, she's going to do, like, thorn stuff, so, like a thorn tornado. Uh, so that's why you might want to use that bleed bomb, resistance bomb. Uh, she does some other attacks, but, I mean, as long as you just stay very aggressive with her, you should be okay. She's going to be very aggressive with you, let me tell you. Uh, but the trick to beating her is she's protected by an umbral parasite. And uh, the umbral parasite is in a little alcove just past this area here. And it's surrounded by some of the red pustules that will blow up if we use our lantern on them. Uh, also, just for uh, the record, there's an item over there. I forget what it is. It's unimportant. And there's always going to be two guys just there. Just kill them. They pose you no threat so what we want to do before we start the battle is we want to get our lamp out hold the thumb button down i did a video earlier i think i popped it already oh i did okay so that's why it's, you're not hearing the Ting, but if you hear the ting, it means you've destroyed that parasite. I thought the parasite would regenerate itself, but apparently it does not. So once you've popped that parasite, you are good to go. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and head on in. So I've got the Umbral Moth somewhere. <laughs> Thing I popped it and showed that it had popped her uh, health bar. You'll see her health bar is now red. And I'll show you where that was at and everything, though, just in case. So, so what you want to do if you're in here? So she's just gonna hang out down there until you get her attention. So, so let's see if we can get her up here. All right. So haven't gotten her up here, and I would suggest you know you fight up here if you can. We're gonna run past her. Here's the alcove where that would be. There's also a, a Sanguinarix, uh, I mean, a, what is it? Oh, I forget the name of the thing. It's the thing that upgrades your Sanguinarix. All right, so anyway, let's see if we can. So the white part, that's the withered health. So now she's scourging herself. So she's buffing herself. So there's her tornado thing. Here, I'll go ahead and let it hit me. You see, it causes a lot of bleed damage. So that's why you probably want to use the resistance bomb. There's... There's, uh, as you can see, she's caused me to bleed, which is not cool. Oh. Oh. Damn, honey. Okay. 
Get off me, woman. One thing you can always do is you can always souffle and then, you know, just get in there. There's an achievement for that, by the way. Uh, but yeah, you can soul flay and then, you know, just bang away at the soul part of them. The only problem with that is you have to, once they join back up with their body, you have to score another hit or the the white part of the, the uh, health bar will not go away. It will refill. Uh, that's the trick with withered health is uh, you can cause a lot of damage with it, and but you have to once the wither ends, you have to score one more hit, and then um, that damage will all disappear. Um, otherwise, it will just refill the the as a red part of the health bar, uh, which is why poison's always kind of nice. Because uh, any kind, anytime you can get somebody poisoned, they will um, have an issue where if it's withered any withered health, the moment the poison takes effect, uh, the withered health just hits and, and it takes it away. Uh, so you don't actually have to cause that hit. Uh, it just assumes the poison damage is a hit and counts it that way. So having defeated her, you want to now run down here. You're going to go ahead and go umbral. Gonna grab that. It would help if I locked onto it. Yeah, certainly quintessence. I forgot the name. So, so there you have it. So that is how to defeat Scourge Sister Deleth. So anyway, I hope you found that useful. Hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.